What's up everybody, T Cerberus here and I'm coming at you with another Skyrim guide tutorial on how to obtain gold in Skyrim. Uh, these are working ways to obtain gold, the ways that you can go through factions such as uh, Companions, Thieves Guild and shit like that. Uh, and also just like one other working way, but mainly what I wanted to show inside this video is how much gold that you actually make from each individual uh, you know, guilt that you can join each faction, uh, which all of the factions that I'm going to cover in this video are the Companions first, uh, the Thieves Guild, the Dark Brotherhood, and the Mage College. I don't really count the Bard's College as a faction, so, uh, yeah. But, uh, I'll also explain a couple other ways that you can make money as well. Uh, honestly, one of the, the absolute best way that you can actually make money is just adventuring around, finding places, just running around in Skyrim, going into caves, and you'll find thousands of gold. I've collected a large, huge sum of, uh, gold just doing that alone and whatnot, not actually working for any individual, uh, you know, faction or anything. Uh, just mainly just adventuring around and finding gold, but the first thing uh, that I'm going to show you is uh, I'm going to show you how to take out a bounty and how to collect a bounty after you take out the target and whatnot So uh, without further ado, let's jump into it All right now you can see we're here inside white run inside uh, Dragon's reach and we're talking to Stuart Avenici uh, He is Jarl Balgriff Stuart. There's Jarl Balgriff right there Jarl Balgriff the greater and this is a Stuart Avenici uh, so this actually works in any of the holds as in white run solitude even winter hold I believe uh, But you can all you have to do is go talk to their steward and you'll have that dialogue option right there I'm looking for work got any leads and then he'll give you a bounty see bounty added uh, map updated now It says uh, let's read it Kill the giant located at golden rock whatever the hell golden gold uh, whatever the fuck that says rock so uh now you can see we are here at the uh we're here at where the giant is located usually they don't usually they just give you little bounties for uh like taking out bandits or wolves or like wolf packs and shit like that uh this is actually the first time i've talked to avenici and he's given me a giant to go taking out but it's probably just because i've talked to him uh, uh so many times and i've done this quite a few times uh, so that's one giant down. There's the other one. That's the one that we're actually here to take out. We did something to piss off the Arl. But uh, yeah, you can see they're dead. Now it says collect the bounty from Yavanichi. So now we're going to go back to Yavanichi. Talk to him. And you'll have the dialogue option. The giant golden royal uh, is dead. Here for the bounty. I'm here for the bounty. And uh, yeah, so... Now he's going to give you 100 gold, a whopping 100 gold. What, that's not good enough for you? Of course it's not, so uh, let's go show you uh, how much the factions pay you for uh, work. Alright, now you can see that we are here at the Companions. Uh, we're here at Yorvaskar, I believe it's, yeah, it's called Yorvaskar, and we're here talking to the Companions. When you finish the Companions mission and you become the, you become the Harbinger or the leader of the Companions, whatever, uh, you'll be able to accept jobs from your compa your uh, leaders of the companions, such as Aella, Farkas, and Vilkas. And you can see here we're talking to Aella the Huntress, and she's going to give us a job to go take care of a... No, it's not a wolf. I, I forgot what it was, but uh, you'll see in a sec. But she's going to give us a job to go take out a beast uh, somewhere inside Whiterun Hold. And... Uh, yeah, we're gonna go kill it, and then we're gonna come back, and she, you'll, you guys will be able to see the amount of money that the uh, the companions actually uh, pay you. So let's fast travel over here, and let's go right into this house. This picture looks really laggy. I hope it doesn't look like that when I actually render up the video. So we're gonna go in the house, and it's a big ass snow saber tooth or whatever. It, yeah, snowy saber tooth cat. So uh, just kill the saber tooth, and. Uh, yeah, you'll see that pop up there, return to Aella. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to go back to Aella the Huntress. And this time she'll be waiting inside of your Vasker next to the tables and shit. So go talk to her. She'll have a dialogue option that says the Sabertooth or the, yeah, the Sabertooth cat is dead or the Saber cat is dead, whatever. And she'll give you 300 gold. So uh, this works just about with everybody. They all give you 300 gold. None of them will pay you differently. 
I, I wish like it depended on like the difficulty of the mission or the job that how much they actually paid you but it doesn't so they all give you 300 gold you can see Farkas Farkas gives you jobs to go like beat up people and take out bandits uh, bandit camps um, Farkas or Vilkas over there the smarter one he'll give you jobs to go uh, like to go retrieve stolen items stolen by bandits former giants or whatever and he'll also give you jobs to go uh, save uh, captive people that have been taken captive so yeah, go save people and whatnot. And uh, those ones are a bit harder. But uh, let's go on and show you the next one. Alright, and now we're here at the Thieves Guild. You can see uh, I'm inside the Ragged Flagon where the Thieves Guild members hang out at. Uh, and what we're, who the person we're going to go talk to right now is Vex. The girl with the blonde hair and the black leather clothing on. Uh, she runs the burglary and break-in jobs and whatnot. Uh, there's also another person inside here named Delvin, uh, she tells you about him. You can go talk to Delvin if you want to do another type of job, but I think he pays you less than, uh, Vex does, so we're gonna do a burglary job for Vex, and we're gonna go break into, uh, Meold's house, and then, you know, go steal the item that's inside there, bring it back, and I'll show you guys what, how much, uh, they, how much the Thieves Guild will pay you, uh, for doing work for them, so, uh, as I said, though, if you go talk to Delvin, Delvin pays you, I believe, much less. He pays you, like, either 50 gold or 100 gold. I think 50 gold might be a little less, but uh, I think it might be around 100 gold or so. Or maybe it might be 50. I'm not entirely sure. All I know is he pays you less than Vex, I believe. Um, so, yeah, but you can go try it out for yourself if you really want to know. So uh, now we're just going to go to Mjold's house, which is upstairs, because it is still inside Riften. You can see I'm just sitting here crouching in a tiny fern because I am just so sneaky like that. Uh, some reason no one can see me. And now I'm just going to go ahead and break into Mjold's house, and I'll see you on the inside. Now I am on the inside of Mjold's house, and you can see there's nobody here because it's daytime, and she's out walking around with Aaron. Uh, so we're gonna go through this door and the item that we need to steal is sitting right here So move this cup out of the way and take the jeweled candlestick You can say return the jeweled candlestick to Vex. So now we're gonna go back and talk to Vex again uh, Which is sitting right over here near the face sculptor Hold on Take off my hood for some reason I just think that the eyes to the hood thing looks really creepy. But, uh, yeah, so now we're sitting here talking to Vex. You know, I've completed the burglary job, and now she's going to pay us. So, there you go. 200 gold and jeweled candlestick removed. So, uh, that's, uh, she... Yeah, I, I believe she pays you 200 gold for just about every single job. If not, you can go and, uh, try it out for yourself. Um, but... You know, if you're more of the sneaky type, like sneaking around and stealing stuff from people, then go join the Thieves Guild. Or if you're already a member of the, Jesus, the Thieves Guild, just go do work for them. They'll, uh, they'll pay you a bit, 200 for each job from Vex. Delvin, I'm not actually going to do a job for him, but these are the jobs he offers. Numbers, fishing, and bow, whatever the hell that says, bowed it, bedlam, bedlam jobs. I have no idea what the hell that means. But, um, yeah. I believe he pays you much less than Vex, so 200 gold for Vex, 300 gold from the Companions, and 100 gold for the Stuart. On to the next one. Alright, and now you can see we are here inside the Sanctuary, uh, the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary in Dawnstar. Yeah, inside Dawnstar. Uh, and we're here to talk to the Night Mother, as you can see here. I'm just fast forwarding through it, and the mission should pop up in just a sec. You don't actually have to stand in front of her to get the uh, the contract, but just go talk to her, and then that'll pop up. Speak to the contract. So we're going to go ahead and uh, switch over to where the contract is. And here we are. The contract is now here. Uh, and as you can see, it, my video is getting all blurry again, but I hope that doesn't happen when I'm murdering up the video. Uh, I'm some reason going to change my outfit. And go talk to the contract, which is sitting right over here. So... As you talk to him, uh, he's going to tell you who to go kill, where he is, and whatnot. Uh, a fishing wife in Riften at the Riften dock, so that's who we're going to go kill. And then, as you can see up there, 800 gold. He just gave you 800 gold. 
and now I'm going to go kill the target, even though I can just take his money and run. But I won't be able to get another contract, so. <laughs> uh, now we're just going to, you can see that the fishing wife is right over there. We're just going to sneak around behind her and slit her throat. There we go. Okay, the fishing wife is now dead. Uh, and we have our 800 gold. Now we can, you see how easy that was. You can just go and do that over and over again if you're more of the sneaky assassinating type and whatnot. If you like to stab people in the back or slit their throats or whatever. You can join the Dark Brotherhood and get paid 800 gold for each contract. Also, you can get paid by the black guy <laughs> or the red guard inside, uh, the sanctuary. I forget what his name is, but the red guard inside of the sanctuary you can uh, take contracts from him as well but he has a limited amount of uh, contracts so uh all right so as you can see here we're at the college of winter hold and i'm fast forwarding through this so we can uh, hurry up and get through this video i don't want it to be too long but you're gonna go talk to tolftier at the college of winter hold after you become the arch uh, mage and whatnot and he'll have a dialogue option that says is there anything i should be aware of and he'll give you a mission to go to one of the holds uh one of the holds in skyrim uh, and you'll have to take care of this magic anomaly where you have to close down this portal. You can see it's right there. Close the Rapture or Re Reacher or whatever the hell it said. And, uh, you will need the Staff of Magnus, as you can see, which you do get after you beat the College of Winterhold faction. So, uh, you do need to complete the College of Winterhold in order to do these jobs. So, uh, as you can see here, we are somewhere behind Solitude because, uh, Jarl of Solitude contacted the Mage College and told us about a magic anomaly that happened and this is all because of uh, the Eye of Magnus and the Staff of Magnus and whatnot uh, going throughout the mission for the College of Winterhold. So uh, this is just one of the, uh, I guess one of the side effects that added to Skyrim that you have to take care of. Uh, you don't actually have to, it's just a mission that you can do uh, for, you know, the College of Winterhold. Uh, so up to you. All right, so you can see return to Tulft here after you take care of that portal All you have to do is just shoot it with the staff of Magnus uh, Fight it which I had a whole bunch of things fight it for me, but uh, yeah <laughs> So let's uh, return to Tulft here, and you can see I've taken care of the Just about uh, that, you know, and uh, Yeah, so He's going to be talking for a little bit, and then he'll uh, give us our gold, and then you'll see how much uh, you actually can get paid from doing this. But uh, as I will also show you afterwards, after he gives us money right now, there you go. Uh, 1,250 gold for each of these missions, but let me show you now that we have to wake him back up. Alright, so this faction is not like the other ones where you can just do these missions back to back to back to back. You actually have to wait a couple of days and then come back uh, to continue getting these missions. Because, uh, you know, these the, I guess those portals don't open all the time and whatnot. So, uh, yeah, and uh, that's all for the factions, but I'm going to show you another couple of ways, another quick couple of ways on how to get your uh, gold up in Skyrim. And, uh... Yeah, let me go ahead and uh, show you how much money I've actually racked up on this one character just from doing, uh, just adventuring around and whatnot. As you can see right there, 37,000 gold, which I actually had more because I just built a huge house. Alright, and now you can see that we are here at the final part of the video. I'm just going to show you a couple more things that you can do, uh, which the next part is, there's Serana, you can see that she's human. Uh, from my uh, curing Serana video I made, but uh, what we're gonna do here uh, You don't actually have to come to the Don guard place at all But this person usually has a lot of gold on her as you can see here. She has about 3,000 Yeah, about 3,671 gold pieces on her uh, So you can do this with anyone just any vendors anyone selling items uh, any blacksmiths any p anybody in stores but what I do is, as I'm going around Skyrim, I just collect all these items from people and whatnot. As you can see, I'm just selling off arrows, staffs I picked up off of dead bodies and whatnot. Uh, a lot of jewelry, a lot of stuff you just pick up going along in your uh, adventures around Skyrim. Pick up stuff off of people that you think might be valuable. You can see I'm selling enchanted rings and whatnot, uh, scrolls, books. I came to this person... Uh, because she literally buys everything. She's literally like the black market of fucking Skyrim, Dongart DLC. Uh, but she she will buy anything off of you whatsoever, from jewelry to statues, diamonds, books, scrolls, 
zombie flesh if they didn't have that in just in Minecraft. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you can do this with anyone. Any vendors around Skyrim. Just go to your vendors and sell off all the items that you're picking up off of bodies. Whether it's armor, swords, shields, jewelry, scrolls, books, or anything. Uh, if you come to her particularly, she usually has a lot of money. As you saw, she has, a. Uh, she had about 3,000 gold pieces on her, so I sold off all that, and I got 3,000 gold pieces off of her just alone. Uh, you can also do this with your wife once you marry her, which brings me to my next part right here. Which is getting married in Skyrim. When you get married in Skyrim, uh, the longer that you're away from your wife, she builds up more and more and more money. As you're going to see right here, I'm going to collect some money from her. But uh, as you can see, she also has a store open. A store that she runs from the home that she's uh, staying in. And whatnot. Right now, she, does, she has zero gold because this is me old. She's been traveling around with me for a long time and whatnot. So uh, I also made a video, if you like me old, on how to get rid of Aaron. How to stop him from following her around and whatnot. So check that out. I'll, leave a, I'll link it in the description or put an annotation on the screen. But right here, has the store made any money? As you see right there, she's been traveling with me for a while. So I built... Uh, uh, for a long, long enough time so she can build up 1,800 gold to give to me when I ask for it. So if you're, as you're just traveling around, me old is a good companion to have and a good wife to have because she's an excellent follower. And uh, yeah, as she's uh, following you around and whatnot and helping you across your adventures in Skyrim, she also builds up more and more money that you can collect at any moment. So, the longer that you're with her, the longer you're away from her, this not just with the mule, but with any wife, as long as you're away from your wife, uh, she'll build up more and more and more and more money. Uh, the most money I've gotten out of a wife was about 3,000 gold because I was away for a very, very, very long time, but uh, yeah. Real quick, I want to give a quick thank you to Bulge Old for suggesting this video to me a couple weeks ago. I'm sorry it took two weeks to get out, but uh... Yeah, next video suggestion, I'll try to get it out just a little bit faster. Uh, I hope you get to see this build old, and um, yeah, thanks for uh, suggesting it to me. But as always, if you enjoyed, or if this helped you at all, please leave a like on the video and a comment in the comment section down below. A comment on what you would like to see on my channel. Any game, any type of guide, doesn't even really have to be a guide, just suggest anything. Any type of, uh, any game or any type of video whatsoever, and I'll try to implement it into my channel. Uh, I'm looking for more content to do on my channel, and uh... Yeah, so leave a comment in the comment section down below on that, or you can just leave little nice little praises that make me feel better about myself, like my nice video and whatnot, uh, if you like, but, uh, yeah, <laughs> subscribe for more future content, and, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.